Okay, so getting ready to make a request make request to the Elasticsearch server. The first things we need to do before we can make a request is number one is we need to retrieve the filters. So retrieve the user specific filters. So that's their country, their uh, city, and their state or province. And also we it's not a good idea to store the password to our Elasticsearch server on the app itself because people could download the APK decompile it and find it in there. So a, a good thing to do is to actually store the password or a better thing to do is to store the password on the Firebase server and then query the password every time we want to uh, make a request to the server. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, in the Fire, in Firebase, we can create a node. I'm going to create a new node and just call it Elastic Search. And inside, all I'm going to do is one field. I'm going to go password. And in here, I'm going to stick my elastic search password. And to get the password, I'm going to go to my cloud console. So console.cloud.google.com and select the application we're dealing with. Then I can scroll down and go to the compute engine here. I can see I have one instance. That's going to be my elastic search in, uh, instance here. And I'm just going to copy that password. Uh, I can't remember where it is. Uh, there's my password. So I, it's it's under the right here where it says Bitami base password. I'm going to be probably blocking this out if I didn't forget to in the video. Uh, so you won't be able to see mine, but that's where it is. And then I'm just going back to the Firebase console and I'm pasting it in as a string. Make sure to paste it in as a string and hitting add. And there you go. So that's going to be blocked out, it, hopefully if I remember to. Uh, but if it's not, then, then you'll see it. Okay. So uh, I guess we'll start by getting the password. Why not? So I'll create a method private void get elastic search password and it'll take nothing and return nothing and I, and just say retrieving elastic search password and I'm going to create a global variable that's going to be holding the password so bars uh, private string m elastic search password and now we just create our query. So we can go query, query. We want to get the Firebase query library equals Firebase database, get instance, get reference. And now we reference that uh, node, which I don't have a string, string for. So let's create that. So go into resources, values, and strings. Go into the database nodes section here. And we're going to go node elastic search and do elastic search and we're also going to add a field so we can do field uh, just say field password and that's because that's what we're going to be looking for in a second here so let's change this now to node elastic search whoops and then child get string r dot string dot field password and that'll be our query Okay, so now we need to execute the query by adding a listener for single value event. Go new value event listener. And it's just going to be a single object we're retrieving. So we can go data snapshot, single snapshot equals data snapshot get children dot iterator dot next. We don't have to loop since we're only after a single parameter. And then we can say elastic search password equals single snapshot dot get value. And uh, we got to typecast it to a string. And we don't want to print it to the log, obviously, because it's a password. So that's what we're just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to call that method inside on create. So get Elasticsearch password. There we go. Now I want to get the filters for this particular user. So we can go private, private, void, get filters. So this is going to be, you know, the city, the state, province, or the country that we're looking for. Okay, so shared preferences, preferences equals... Uh, how do I do it again? It's preference manager, get default shared preferences, uh, get activity, that will retrieve my shared preferences. And now I need variables for the city, state, and the, the province, and the country. So let's make those. So private string m preferred city, private string m preferred state province, and private string m preferred country. So now we're down here and we can assign those fields. So m city equals preferences get string, uh, get string again, r dot string dot uh, preferred city. And then we need to set a default value if you can't retrieve anything, which will be nothing. And then m preferred 
state province. I'm going to copy that because it's basically the same. Preferences, state province. And the last one, M country equals preference country. There we go. That will retrieve all of the user's preferences. I have an extra equal sign there. And we can actually print these to the log because it's not a big deal to print out the filters to the log. So I'm just going to cut the video ahead here because uh, this is going to take a sec. Okay, there we go. So we have the city, state or province, and then the country printing out. So now let's call get filters. Uh, I'll call it up here, get filters in on create. And that should be good. Um, let me just think. Actually, we should probably call get filters every time we search because um, the person could change the filters and then come back. Or, or if I change it in on resume, if I override on resume, that should work. So if we go control O, because if they go to uh, open up the activity to change the filters and they come back, um, yeah, make sure to call it in on resume because on, on create might not be called. So there we go. So that's good. Now I think we're ready to actually build our query. I think I'm going to stop because I think the video where I actually build the query is going to take probably a good 10 minutes to do. So I'll stop from, I'll stop here and then in the next video, that way we can build it all and I can explain things and I won't feel like I'm rushed because uh, this video is already uh, definitely over five or six minutes long. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. So I'll see you guys in that next video.